lose it, don't lose it, don't let it confuse it. Only then you'll be gone. Feel like, 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 Shiny star, giving, receiving, changing, believing, only then we can start. Feel like, feel like, feel like that. Feel like, feel like, feel like that. Tidy up just around the margin to make sure it's not coming over the edge. And then you've got to very gently grab it at the contact point and place it onto the platinum pin. There it is. Dropping it at this point is not a good idea. <laughs> Okay, so you can see the two materials there quite nicely. Porcelain furnace again. This goes into a, a firing cycle, fires at about 920 degrees, comes out looking something like this. You can see all the particles have sinted together now. Got a nice dense uh, 
of ceramic there. But the surface is slightly orange pea, isn't it? Yeah, you're rough, so you need to grind that back. Of course, because we've overbuilt this the ceramics to start with, we're never going to get this right first time. So we're going to now trim any excess that we've got, um, put them a nice surface finish on the restoration, look for any areas where we might want some additional ceramics put in on, uh, and then we can uh, do that and refire any, any additions on. It is unusual to do it in one go, isn't it? It is. Even sort of good technicians have a couple of firings. So here I've, I've ground all of the surface, and now I'm just checking the uh, medium distance and the size and edge, which I'm happy with there. When I look at the labial surface, it looks like it's a little bit too bulky, and it just wants a bit off the medial side of it, uh, sorry, the distal side of it, just to angle that labial surface a bit. So I'm just going to take the diamond and uh, shape that a little bit more. Just to make the incisor edge go around the arch a little more rather than it being like a piano key. A bit of moisture 